first item is um, roll call of the members. Dawn? Mayor Dardis. Here. Mr. Van Amberg. Mr. Ebinger. Here. Mr. Gust. Here. Ms. Mastel. Here. Mr. Cavitan. Here. Mr. Campbell. Here. Mr. Steen. Mr. Olson. Here. Ms. Carlson. Here and happy Administrative Professionals Day, Don. Oh, thank you. I didn't even know it was today, so thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Strand indicated he would not be joining us today, so a quorum is present. All right, thank you, Don. Don, I think Mr. Steen and Ms. Sherling are in the lobby. Make sure I'm that in. they can get in, please. I I'm just in. admitted them, yes. Thank you. Are they in, Don? Yes, they yep. are. Rick's in. Okay. All right, next item is approval of the minutes from March 24th meeting. We have a motion to approve. Moved by Campbell. Is there a second? Second by Mastel. Okay, motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item three is the approval of the order of agenda. Anybody uh, see anything that needs to be moved around? If not, I would look to approve. Okay, we have a motion to approve. Is there a second? Eight seconds. Okay, we have a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, motion carried. All right, item four is a logo. And um, I think you all participated in uh, selection for a logo. And um, Dawn took those votes and tabulated them. And the one that um, took the top spot was the FM area diversion. And that would be on the list here would be the second, the second one. So um, I'm open for discussion, any discussion on this? Otherwise, I think what I would like to do is have a motion to uh, uh, recommend to the diversion authority um, the selection of the FM area diversion as our logo. Is there any discussion? I would move to approve the FM area diversion selected that uh, the majority of the votes came in for. This is Carlson. Start a second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Roger. Any Tim Mahoney here. Uh, I'm just curious. Tim, just a minute, Tim. Okay. Right. Um, I don't exactly know how to handle this, Tim. Uh, you aren't on the on our uh, committee. Um, I would I would entertain a brief comment. I'm just wondering when the vote was held on the two names. I didn't know if you had two names that were finalists or we actually voted last time. I thought we could, but you went as a committee through a variety of options. That's the only thing I'm asking about. Okay, uh, Don, would you explain um, or Jennifer um, exactly went out to the committee members and uh, the selection of the top two. 
Sure, so you should be able to see on the screen the options on the right hand side there. Is that correct? Yes. So these are the names that came back from the last meeting on the suggestions that we should um, consider. Um, what we did is we had Don send out uh, an email to all of the public outreach committee and um, they gave their um, top two. Um, so out of the top two that they sent back, um, Don took the tally and the FM area diversion came back as the number one vote. I think the Fargo Moorhead area diversion came back as number two and the Metro flood diversion came back as number three. So um, the FM area diversion won by um, a few votes and that's how we ended up with that as the um, final option. Thank you. Welcome. All right, thanks Jennifer. So we have a motion on the table. Um, and a second. Any other discussion? If not, Don, would you call the roll, please? Mayor Dardis. Aye. Mr. Ebbinger. Aye. Mr. Gus. Yes. Ms. Mastel. Aye. Mr. Cavitan. Yes. Mr. Campbell. Yes. Mr. Steen. Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Ms. Carlson? Yes. That is everyone. Okay, thank you. So, so we, will, we will make a recommendation from this committee to the diversion authority uh, for the FM area diversion um, name. So item five is a press conference from April 9th. Jennifer? Sure. Um, so I just wanted to share a little bit of feedback from that event. Um, there were some great moments that we captured that day. And um, honestly, each of the things that were shared by everyone from, um, from our boards did a phenomenal job. I know we got a lot of positive feedback. Um, within our own teams, um, from the public, from the press, so, um, and from the core, it was a really great event. So um, there are more pictures that I can share uh, between the group, so you can have those. Um, but I also have uh, just an additional highlight reel that's just a couple of minutes long that I'd love to play for um, you to see what captured some of the um, best moments from that day. So uh, let me just, Hit play. And if for some reason you can't hear the sound, let me know, but it should play at the same time. Uh, the Metro Flood Diversion Authority, as you all know, is a governing organization for the entire diversion project to create a permanent, reliable flood protection solution for the Fargo Moorhead metro area and the surrounding region. And on behalf of the board and our executive director, Joel Paulson, I want to welcome all of you to Fargo on this rainy morning. You know, I, I truly look forward to the day where we're standing out there, you know, cutting the final ribbon on the whole project. I don't know how old we're going to be, hopefully not but six years at the most. But uh, I think you're going to cry. I mean, you're just not going to be able to hold the emotion because this has been a labor of love and intensity for you like none other. We have needs in our communities from um, from roads and bridges and potholes and rail to water projects. I, I want to say again, I'm full of gratitude this morning uh, for a lot of people in this room. Uh, when I look around the room and I think about all the people that have been working on this thing, not, you know, decades, some of you, to try to get to where we are today. I don't comment about legislation before it reaches my desk as a rule, but I'm gonna make the first exception to that rule that I've made. Uh, this, when this bill gets to my desk, I'm signing it. Uh, so. This is bigger than Fargo, it's bigger than Moorhead, even bigger than West Fargo, believe it or not. We are a regional hub. We always have been, we always will be. The synergy that's been built over the years through great leadership and great business owners, private, public, it's done, we're gonna grow. Between three and 5,000 people are going to come to the Fargo, Moorhead, West Fargo, Dilworth area into perpetuity. Without this protection, 
their businesses will not be safe, their jobs are at risk. So at the diversion inlet structure and the Wild Rice River structure, construction's in full swing. Uh, both of those are about 50% complete and we are on budget and on schedule on both of those and a lot of activity going on at those sites even, even today. We've, we've never taken no for an answer. We've always tried to find ways because we have to, we have no other choice. We can't allow the risk of flooding um, to impede our growth and our prosperity within this community. Um, the homeowners, the landowners, uh, farmers, that group that we've asked to sacrifice to put this project on the land. And it's, it's important to understand that, that they did make a sacrifice. They have been um, paid for that sacrifice, but still, we appreciate that. Today, we're very pleased to announce uh, a $67 million award to industrial builders of West Fargo. Yeah. My employees, the men and women who will be building this, look forward to doing so and doing so safely. Over the course of the project, we look for the cooperation of the landowners, the citizens, and we appreciate the opportunity to be a local leader in construction. And again, the sandbags will become a thing of the past. So thank you for allowing me to share that. I think that was some great highlights from, from that day. Um, I'll also share um, some pictures from today. We have uh, for the legislative update, the bill was signed this morning. So at 9.15 a.m., um, the, the uh, House Bill 1431 was signed for the bonding bill. Um, so we were able to capture some great moments. I hope that you all were able to watch that uh, live on the Twitter feed. If not, we have it posted on the website where you can watch that as well as um, the event from the I-29 um, award as well. So the next item that I wanna share is just the uh, the website, so we've talked about this in a couple of the previous meetings where uh, we have so much that is coming our way with the um, upcoming award and moving into that construction phase with the P3 vendor coming on board um, at some point. Uh, we have a lot of attention that's coming to the uh, website. So the current one that you see is on the left-hand side. Um, what the intention is for uh, at least updating the home page of the current site for now is we don't have time to do a full site rebuild before um, the award goes out for the P3. Um, but uh, the intention is, is to redevelop that landing page. So at least when people come to our website, they're seeing um, just a little bit more um, overview of what this project is, what we're about, um, what we're trying to accomplish, where we are. Um, so you can see on the right hand side, I broke that up into um, two sections because you couldn't see the, the full one long section. So the top area is on the left, the, um, the lower half is on the right. Um, but it should have been or, or will be soon shared with the public outreach committee um, to take a look. This is a sample template of what the site um, basically will look like. The content, um, the pictures, a little bit of the, the tweaking of the design is gonna be even more polished um, when we're ready. But um, what I'd like to do is just um, at least share this with this group, um, open it up for any feedback, uh, definitely with the understanding that uh, our goal is to just continue to um, tweak the information so it's as polished as possible when it comes out. So um, don't take this exactly for what it is. This is not what it's going to be fully when it comes out, but basically the layout, um, the, the look and feel, um, some of the elements that you see on the page, um, those are the things that will be there, but it will be just better content, uh, uh, some better pictures. Um, that top end area, for instance, where it says the Fargo-Moorhead area is going to be um, a video loop behind it, so it gives the page some really nice interactivity. So uh, I'll just stop there and open it up for 
any comment, feedbacks, questions, and happy to answer and walk you through it. Okay, Jennifer, this is Roger. I, I do have a question. Now, if I'm a, a new person in town and I um, want to go to this site and find out how I'm going to be impacted um, or what's the latest happening today, this week, I mean, how, how often are we going to update this so that the information is, is fresh and up to date? That's a great question and a really important one as we move into this construction phase, especially because there's going to be so many impacts in the community. Um, so a couple of things for now, you can't really see it on this screen, but at the very top in that white bar um, above the blue line at the top, it's going to be an area where it can be a news alert. So anything important for a road closure or anything that is happening um that we need to make sure people see right off the bat we're going to put at the very top we can also um, do a quick update in that uh, middle section for that fargo moorhead area we can put an alert there as well as, as needed so we do have the ability to put something on there quickly um, we can keep the content as fresh as needed as we have things coming in and i think that that'll be more prevalent as we moved in into that construction phase but I will share that for now, this this landing page is something to get us to where we need to be um, through this P3 award and the um, the attention that we're starting to get with the community looking for resources and job information and, and um, construction information. It'll get us through that phase until we can actually rebuild the whole site and build something better for um, um, just some of the things that are going to be happening in the future once construction really gets going even more than it is now. Um, I, I don't know if that answers your question fully, but because you can't see that area, but does that make sense? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. Um, yep, thanks. Paul? I know it's a little hard to see on the screen, but... Uh, Paul has his hand up. Yes, thank you. Um, just wanted to add to that uh, as part of the P3 requirements, the developer will have their own public information officer that'll be working. They'll be the day to day contact with that whole project and they'll be working directly with Jennifer and uh, and with this website. So it'll all be one big integrated effort. Correct. OK, great. Any other questions for Jennifer or Paul? All right. So we'll look forward to as we go, you know, go forward with this. We'll look okay. uh, look for the changes and and certainly it'll be uh, become a go to page or a go to website for the public. So. And Looking just forward. go ahead. Thank you for that. And just to care, share a couple of things, since I know it's hard to see on this screen, but uh, you should be able to see it in in a PDF that's shared with this group. But um, the top area is just to really identify um, who we are, where we are. Those links at the top are going to be the same ones that you've seen on the previous website, so you'll still be able to access the same information as before until we do that full rebuild which we're looking to do once we um, get the p3 vendor on board and we can align on what we need to see and share on the site um, below that there's a section where you see the video clip on the right hand side we're working on putting together a video where we can tell a little bit more about the story of um, the history of this project uh, what we've uh, experienced in the past to you know even initiate this type of project um, who has been involved to get us to the point where we are now, a little bit about the um, technology that's being developed, the partnerships that have been formed, um, some of the forward thinking um, that is being done to really set the standard for this type of project going forward. So it's going to be a really nice clip that tells that full story. Um, below that, you'll see um, there's some numbers on the left-hand side 
Uh, those are just some random sample numbers for now, but basically we're going to get some um, current statistics on the project where we can put some inform uh, information that really helps tell the story and, and gives a little insight of how massive this is or how much impact this has. Um, and then below that, uh, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's a map section. So that map section will be similar to what you are used to seeing now for the map of the project. But it's going to be interactive where you can drill down into it and, and see each of the sites um, that are being uh, built and a little bit more information about each of those sites. Um, then on the top right uh, corner of this, where the page will continue, you can see up to date photos or videos of the project. Just so you, you can see the current construction process. Below that, we'd like to do a section that tells a little bit more about the history of the project um, and, the, and the flooding that has been experienced in the past because it's so easy to forget um, why this project is even happening. So um, we're working on getting um, more pictures and even video footage from past historic flood events. Um, below that, the section isn't completely built out yet, but we're going to do an area where we um, are giving acknowledgement to all of the entities involved with this project because it's per pretty powerful to show how how much we're um, you know collaborating cohesively with so many different groups from federal state local the core um, the p3 partnership and then there's some quotes you'll see the picture um, down there we've thought about putting some quotes there because we've had some great quotes from people along the way on on just the me, what this project means to um, so many. So um, we're still working out what that might look like for that section. And then there's just the footer at the bottom. So um, that explains a little bit more some of the logic behind it. Um, we didn't want to put too much on this page so it doesn't turn into a dumping ground. And this is this ends up being the new site because there's still so many things attached to it um, with the existing site behind it. Um, but I hope that gives a little more insight into some of the logic that we're looking at. Thank you, Roger. Jennifer, I, I just was raising my hand. I have a quick, I was just going to say, I really like the statistics on there. I like that, that, that visual. I think that that helps a lot for people that are unfamiliar with it, as well as all the pictures and videos. I noticed that's a big difference from the landing page before, and I think for the average person visiting the site, that's really helpful to illustrate better what this is. Thank you so much, Katie, and and also would love to even partner with you um, a little more. I sent that message earlier today on how we can even share some resources for um, some things with the chamber as well. So thank you for that feedback. That's, that was great. Thank you. No, I'm just going to make a quick comment. Um, you know, some might feel that, you know, we're over the hump. We've got our financing. Construction is going to be lined up here shortly. But the impact to the community is going to be there. And, and communication is needs to be uh, just right right there to support that. And, and also, as I was, as I was thinking about, you know, what's going to happen towards the end of this project? Are we going to be on budget? Are we going to have overruns? Are we going to have to go back to the community and ask them to maybe increase sales tax of half a percent? Or, you know, we, we don't know how this is going to end up. So to keep the community engaged, and keep them informed, I think is important. So that when we come to those, maybe a difficult time where we have to ask for some some more money from, from those that are uh, benefiting, um, then they're engaged and they understand. So I think it is, it is very important, uh, the communication and the outreach over these next uh, six years of construction. And I really, um, I think it's very important. So, 
thank you for listening to me. And if there isn't any other comments, uh, next meeting is May 26th. And I'm up for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. So moved. There's a second. Second, Captain. All right. We are adjourned.